India has said it will be premeditated murder if Pakistan goes ahead with the military court's surprise decision to sentence an ex-Indian naval officer, Kulbhushan Jadav, to death. In a strong response, India summoned the Pakistan High Commissioner and stopped the release of 12 Pakistani prisoners scheduled for tomorrow, hours after the Pakistani Army Chief approved the execution of Indian National Mr. Jadhav for alleged espionage and sabotage activities. India strongly protested, saying they'd be denied consular access. The big unanswered question, did Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif know of his military's decision? And more importantly, does he have the political clout to overturn it? Pakistan's decision to execute an Indian citizen, Kulbhushan Jadhav, is the worst setback to Indo-Pak ties since the Uri terror attack last year and the surgical strikes that followed. Kulbhushan Jadhav, an Indian citizen and former Navy officer, arrested by Pakistan in March last year on spying charges, now sentenced to death by the Pakistani military. This despite zero credible evidence and repeated denial of consular access to India for over a year. In a shock announcement that was made on Twitter, the Pakistani army said, The spy has been tried through field general court-martial and awarded the death sentence. Today, the chief of army staff has confirmed the death sentence. Pakistan has claimed that Jadav was a raw agent arrested in Baluchistan where he was planning to destabilize Pakistan. India strongly denied the charges and believes that Jadav was kidnapped from Iran and then taken to Pakistan. India's Foreign Secretary immediately summoned the Pakistani High Commissioner in Delhi and lodged a strong protest. Mr. Jaishankar told him that if Pakistan does indeed go ahead with this execution, which India said went against all the norms of law and justice, then India, the government of India and the people of India would consider this a premeditated murder. In fact, the Indian High Commission was not even told that Jadav was put on trial. 13 requests for consular access to Jadav between March of 2016 and 31st March of this year were denied by Pakistani authorities. It's not clear what will happen next and whether Pakistan's civilian government is even on board with what the military has done. In just December last year, Pakistan's foreign affairs advisor Sartaj Aziz is on record as saying that the evidence against Jadav is not conclusive. So what changed? The government of India is now waiting and watching to see what happens. In New Delhi, Nidhi Razdan for NDTV.